I'm with Dr. Robert Titzer from San Diego, and apparently he tells us that you can teach your baby to read. How's that? And at what, how early? Uh, well, there's a window of opportunity for learning language. The window goes from about three months through about age four, where it's easier to learn language skills. So that's when we recommend teaching the babies the written form of language. Okay. And when did you start this? I started this in 1991 with my own baby, Alika, and I taught her to read. I taught my second daughter to read as a baby. Uh, they could both read baby books very early on in life. And there are long-term studies showing the earlier the child is taught to read, the better the child reads. Okay. So we are now doing this all over the world. Okay. What inspired you to do this? Uh, working with my own baby, I felt guilty dropping her off at the babysitter's house, so I didn't want her to watch some entertainment-based TV show. Mm -hmm. So I made a video where I was trying to teach her about words in the same way that babies learn about toys, which is learning through multiple sensory systems. Okay. What are your qualifications to embark on such a journey? Um, I have my PhD and I worked in different infant development laboratories studying how babies learn. worked in the infant cognitive development laboratory and the infant motor development laboratory. I also collected data in the infant social and emotional development laboratories. I have a master's focused on how adults learn and I have um, had my own laboratory also. Okay, let's talk about the science. Um, how do you teach a child to read? You've got some, you have a book here. Okay, so... That's in large print. Yeah, the basic idea is you let the baby see the word and you say smiling, and then you show the baby what the word means. So okay. typically when a parent reads to the child, the child is focused on the pictures, not the words. I the see. average four or five-year-old only focus on, focuses on words about five seconds per book. In this book, the child will look at the words. We also have sliding word cards like this, where you say the word mouth, and then you slide it out to show what the word means. So if you do this with a very young baby, what you see is the child will look at the word mouth, and then the child's eyes will quickly look over here at what the word means. So they look from what the word looks like to what the word means, and so in their brains they should have connections related to what the word looks like, what the word sounds like, and what the word means. Nice way of learning, yes. Yeah. Um, how early can a child learn this? What's the earliest student that you have? Uh, well, we just uh, an hour and a half ago or so, we had an 18-month-old baby who could read words that he had never seen before. We have many 18-month-old babies who can read books from the library that they've not seen before. Actually, I can vouch for that. I came to the show here and I saw you with that baby, and, and, and I, the, the parents telling me, yes, watch, this baby can read. And I watched, literally watched the baby read those words, and I heard those words from that baby's mouth. Yes, and I was making up words. So it couldn't have been that the baby had only memorized the over a thousand words uh, that, that the baby knows. The baby also can sound out words that the child has never seen before, hmm. and this is an 18-month-old baby, not a three-year-old, not a five-year-old, and we have many babies who can phonetically sound out the words that they've never seen before. Uh, the same thing happened yesterday. We had a baby here uh, who was sounding out words. The mom did not know that the baby uh, could read words phonetically, and the mom actually, um, I, sh I said, well, do you mind if I test your baby and just see how your baby's doing? So I held up a bunch of cards, the baby read every single card, and I could actually understand the baby, and then I started writing down words that the child had never seen before. I wrote down laptop and newspaper, the baby immediately identified those words, then I made up B-O-T, and the baby said bot, and there happened to be a teacher standing nearby when this happened, and um, after the baby had read many words, the teacher said, oh, the baby's just memorized the words, the baby can't really read. And then, uh, you know, the baby uh, identified newspaper and laptop, and then as soon as the child sounded out bot, then the teacher actually changed her mind to say that the baby actually was reading. So. How many babies are learning this now? How many like graduates are there of this? Um, we have many, many hundreds of thousands of babies all over the world who are learning to read at the same time they're learning to talk. Wow. So now, let me ask you this. Does it increase the child's IQ later on by having this early training? Um, well, we have a study that's soon to be released that will show cognitive benefits in addition to all of the language-related benefits. but. 
um, it's not going to be that long before the study comes out, and I'd rather not specifically okay. give all the details because we will be announcing that study once it's released. Okay, let's get the details of your website. It's w dot. It's yourbabycanread.ca. Almost. I would say every baby can read. .ca. Okay. But it's oh, your baby can read. 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 Read.